Hello and welcome to this review of Rock Brook California Cabernet Sauvignon 2017. Oh, kind of old. There is one video review for this, but uh, I'm a little suspicious. I'm a little curious about that video because it's over two hours long, and why would you spend two hours on something like this? So some of those videos like that, they're real long, and then it's like some kind of nutty. They're trying to sell vacuum cleaner filters or whatever. It's not really about the product. But anyway, this is something I bought at Matherns. They had it on discount for $2.99 a bottle. So why wouldn't I buy it? answer is I would buy it. So, uh, Rockbrook Cellars. Okay, so that's a little mysterious. But what I found out was that from a company called Bronco Wine. Started in 1974 by three of the Franzia Wine Brothers. So, you know, Franzia Wine Company, they broke off and made their own company. So, yeah, they're a family, their <coughs> production goes back to 1893, but it was with a different set up and they broke off from that 1893 establishment to make Bronco wine and they're still owning it as of 2023 the three I was looking at the photos from 1974 when they started it they were like you know young almost middle-aged or you know right at that pre precipice and now they're like <laughs> they showed a recent photo and they're like you know really old but still in control but uh or you know, nominally so, but it was interesting. It really was. So they have a lot of brands. I don't know if they're popular. You can look up Bronco Wine. Uh, here's one of these uh, cork. Corks got it out with not too much effort. With a cork extraction instrument. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I put this in the fridge because Cabernet Sauvignon I always keep at room temperature. But I uh, wasn't thinking straight. Well, it's too late now. It's chilled, so kind of violates the cab sav protocol. Purple. Huh? It's purple like the style. Now, they go on. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> on the website, they into all of, you know, uh, oh, it smells and tastes like these multitude of things. And I didn't even, even know what some of the things meant, but it was some sort of berries. So, but there's no use really going over that because I'll put a link below. But I, um, when I read those things, then when I do the review, I can never remember. Like, what, what, what was the, the fruit? <laughs> And I, I don't want to have like a cheat sheet and say, oh, yeah, it really does taste like blackberry. No, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I'd just rather describe it as I'm seeing it. So purple looks nice. I mean, it's a little old. It smells good, though. 12.5%, I guess it's holding up. It smells like rich, and it, it does smell like jammy. Jam well, I don't think they said that. <laughs> jammy, like a, a grape jam, even preserves. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, it's not made with blackberries or currants or any of these other berries. It's made with grapes. Grapes. Okay. So the appearance is very nice. And the aroma is very nice. So we are in the A range right now as, as it's going along. Well, let's go with the taste. Yeah. It's tannic, meat tea, jammy. Like grape jam, like I said earlier. 
uh, body is medium, finish is dry. I mean, it's dry. Uh, I did make a mistake chilling it, but <clears throat> it, no, it, it's not bad chilled. It would be better at room temperature, but um, good thing to know if you make a mistake and you chill it, it's going to come out all right. And then the, the, what they're showing on here is like a photograph of a, of a brook, you know, a creek with the rocks in it, the stones, the stones. I'm not going to say this is popular because uh, I don't think it is. If you want to call it an off-brand, somebody called it that. Oh, yeah, I like to try out those off-brands, which means it's not Liberty Creek. <laughs> It's not Liberty Creek, it's not Behringer, it's not um, Cabot. <laughs> so it's an off-brand color. I never, well, I, well actually, I, I had never heard of it before they went on the discount and put it in the discount uh, basket. But hey, well, I'm not over here uh, examining or researching wine brands every day. To say the least, I don't really. Actually, I never research them. All right. I like the blackberry note and these other exotic berry notes. Yeah, I, I like it. I do like it. And, um, Well, I mean, the normal prices are running around nine and a half to twelve dollars. So, probably the lowest you'll find it be nine fifty. Might find it depending on the vintage, but that that probably won't affect it. But uh, yeah, you might pay up to twelve, which is still cheap, right? You said that's a cheap wine. Yeah, it is, but it tastes good. So, and in my booklet, that's what counts. If it tastes good, then it is good. Uh, I'll sip on about yeah two ounces a day when I uh, eat lunch. If I'm not if I eat lunch at work, I'm not gonna drink wine at work. Yeah, you know. No, I mean if I'm at home. But uh, yeah, it'll take uh, a few weeks to dissipate this. Say uh, yeah. About. 20 days, 18 to 20 days. Yeah, I think so, about 18 to 20 days. So it looks nice, tastes nice, is nice. Is it different with the fresh one or a 2023 bottle? I don't know, and there's no way I could know. But anyway, um, It's not, I heard an owl. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to pinpoint this, what type of owl that is because they go, ooh, 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 ooh. and then they'll be like, Meow. I don't know what that, it, that species is, but they're all around here. All right, so I'll, I'll say 93. I think it's getting into most excellent, but it's not like I was going to say for that, but it's not like amazing. Oh, I can't believe it. It's so incredible. Uh, yeah, it's none of those things, but it is, um, it is very enjoyable. So lazy, lay bon ton relay, uh, most excellent wine product. Uh, not a wine product, a, act, a literal wine, not a, <laughs> a wine specialty. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to California and tour one of the Bronco winery, uh, one of the Bronco wine company wineries.